And it's really difficult to get up here in the front. And uh, Grunewig and his team, they've been washed away a bit, but I just spotted them coming through on the right of picture. Buani now, he's sitting in a good position. Or oh, he reminds me of the old cowboy films with the baddie oh! in the black hat. Crash at the back. Tag, I'm afraid. And it's, uh, it, it's not good. Arkea uh, depleted then, I'm yeah. afraid. That is not what you want. And that's uh, Rodriguez, their, their GC man. You have a shabbier also, I'm afraid, on the deck. That's uh, not good for Rodriguez, but uh, they've still got, of course, options out front with Buhani. They're going to give us a replay on this, and I'm, we, I'm hoping we, we don't miss the curve, which they're rapidly approaching right now. It's the big right-hander. Oh. Yes, there's the incident. They're OK. Let's get back up front. Um, picking their way through, they do. Now then, back to the action. You can see how frantic it is, and we're back in time for that corner. Fantastic. That's the big one. It's coming up right now. The motorcycle's gone through it. Thank heaven we're back. Philippe flicked his arm as if to say, I've driven in. That was my finish line. Away you go, fellas. And there's the squeeze I was telling you about, Robbie. They're straight off. It's only three wide out front, and they're really putting it down here. Yeah, this is the moment you can really stretch things out. So anybody out of position, they're going to cost themselves a lot of energy to get back towards the front. So Sudal Quickstep in control at the moment here, right hand side in the white and the blue. Uh, coming up with Dylan Grunewig and Sagan. He's following that wheel. UAE for Milano in the black and white colours. Right in the middle for Phillips and Alperson de Koenig as well. Gaviria, he's still just ducking and weaving in there, finding his way to the front. And on the right-hand side, Bahrain, where's Phil Bauhaus and Gourmet? Well, they're searching for him, the riders from Antomarche. I think Gourmet's off the back. I think it's going to be for Mike Turnus and for Intermarche Wanty today. Uh, we'll wait and see. He may well reassemble. Not there just for the time being. You can see the uh, white uh, European champions jersey there with the uh, the blue helmet of uh, Fabio Jakobsen. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Jack Stewart Buani coming up just made the his choice. He has. He's had to. He swung across straight onto the wheel of Fabio Jakobsen, and he will fight with everything he's got to stay there. There they are Absolutely. on the left of picture. Coming up and through the centre, Phil Bauhaus uh, uh, looks like he may well have to go solo. A big long train at the disposal of Jesper Phillips, and there he is. Still looks cool, calm and collected. A look over, and Benjamin Gemme is back in. He's got the quartet in front of him. He's found his lead-out train. Let's hope that that works out for him. You can also see that Mezgetz now is starting to do the pacing with only 2.3 uh, kilometres to go. He's working really hard for uh, Dylan Groenewegen, and he's going to have to do a little bit more. Stebar, I beg your pardon, and, uh, and Mezgetz still very much involved. Meanwhile, back here, you can see the man who's going to live to fight another day, Wout van Aert. He said he was feeling a bit peaky. He was telling the truth. He'll be sprinting on the final day. That's his battle plan. Two kilometres to go and now the mix begins and the big old tempo is being set here by Intermarche Circus Wanty. They said that they would be the ones that could control the, the hill the best, be less muted by it. And at the moment they're going full beans, but uh, it certainly seems the line to follow. And you can see as well after all the hard work they've done, Team Jacob Lula with Groenewegen tucked in on that wheel. Elsewhere, uh, you can see that uh, Gleb Zlitzer is trying to get Mark Cavendish in the British champion stripes. Haven't seen him just yet. Trying to get him into position. Look behind that uh, that that uh, uh, style of man and you will see Mark Cavendish. We saw him meerkatting momentarily uh, and he is tucked in there. 1.3 kilometres to go. Bohani still uh, with a, a lead out man to help him. 1,200 now approaching the Flam Rouge, Robbie. Yeah, this is it. Time to put the cards on the table. Just outside a kilometre to go, right in the middle on the white line. That's Siritsa with Mark Cavendish in the wheel. Still Antomarche swinging away, opening up the gap. Little squeeze there underneath uh, that that structure over the road. And Antomarche still in control for Bidium Gourmet. Well, Colnaghi is also here in the, the green project, Bardiani, and they come up to this little rise. This is the 500 metre mark, just uh, rapidly approaching right now. We're nearly there. Gomez uh, still waiting to be released. Big lead out train for Alpadina de Koenig. Super work by uh, Philipson. Not quite uh, hit the go button just yet. Neither indeed has Gronewegen in the blue and white. He's called for action right now. They don't want to miss out. It's already started to peel off. Where is indeed uh, uh, Jakobsen? He's in the frame, and this is the release. We get that uh, fire curve right now and Jakobsen screaming up through the centre. Jakobsen still hasn't gone for it. Gaviria has. He's taken the bait. It's a slight rise here. Uh, it's Gaviria with Philipson on his case. Gaviria still going to hold it, is he? 550 to go. 10 to go. Oh, they're spreading across the line. Oh, my goodness. On the throw. I think the European champion just got there. It's between himself and Jasper Philipson of Alperson de Koenig. What a finale that was. But a mighty kick late on by Fabio Jakobsen. Gaviria, so brave, went for it early. 
We're going to have to wait for the photo, but that was one heck of a sprint. Well, Gaviria, as he so often does, he hit out early. Well, he's given the, the pat on the back to Fabio Jakobsen. Uh, he thinks that he's got it. Gaviria, he rode on through. There goes Mark Cavendish, not able to get himself into the mix. But that was with three across the line photo finish. Jakobsen on the left of picture. Philipson in the middle. And Fernando Gaviria, who went early, early, early. Krunewegen tried to get on terms, went right, then left. But it looks like Fabio Jakobsen declared as winner of stage two. <laughs> this one you're asking, are you sure? Yes, we are sure. Jakobsen gets his first win on Italian soil. How fabulous was that? Absolute fireworks at the last. We had a, a roller coaster of a road. Supreme.